At a small community in, in Orange Park, there will be huge performances this Saturday from local gospel artists who are hoping to make a huge impact in the neighborhood. The Worship Encounter Phase 2 is um, a group of worshipers coming together to spread hope and love throughout the community and throughout the body of Christ. Gospel entertainer Christian Williams delves deeper into the purpose of the Worship Encounter. This event is going to be um, filled with um, giving hope and a message of hope because a lot of things are going on in the world and we're looking at a lot of things that's going on in the city and we want to spread the love throughout the community because that's the thing that we want to do that let everybody know that we're here you know um, they need anyone um, to see hope they see the hope in us which is in Jesus Christ so that's what that's what this concert is all about the encounter has no competition aspect. It's all about the showcase. It's, it's, it's not competition, really. No competition. This is really about community. We, I mean, all these people, all these singers are from are homegrown. They're a part of the community. Um, it's about bringing the community together. You know, to in one room, um, not just performance based, uh, worship based. Let's get together based. Let's love each other based. That's what it, that's what it is. It's what it is. So we're here for, we're per, it's parting for a purpose in a sense. We're here for a purpose and, and we're here to raise money for this church, to bring in worship, to have people communicating and loving each other in one room, in one environment. Pastor Kenyon Thompson took over his father's church almost nine years ago. Though there have been some growing pains, he and his wife Donna made the effort to connect with the community and done it well. But... So we were like, we want to do more. Let's do more. So having the kitchen, that's what he wants. That's his dream to be able to feed these people out here. They would like to do more along the lines of feeding the homeless, but... The church has been here for almost 30 years on this corner in this community, and this church doesn't have a kitchen. A black church you know doesn't have a kitchen. I know, <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying! Oh, wow. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, we need a kitchen. We want to feed folks, it's the heart, it's the heart. The kitchen is the heart, right? and we are looking to be able to do more with it, to be able to feed the community, take care of them. So a lot of whatever is raised, it's a free event, but we are gonna raise an offering here. So whatever is raised here with folks to this church to help to see their, their, their dreams come true about reestablishing the church and rebuilding and, and also building that kitchen. So the showcase is actually a fundraiser for New Hope Pentecostal Church, which goes along with their new slogan. We, we have a new slogan that we have is love in action. And we're getting, that's, that's what we want to do here is love in action. And my husband has this thing where he goes and walks the community here now, and he knocks on doors, and he talks to the people, and he want to know that the people are okay. With the opportunity to see artists such as Tammy Smith, William Oliver, and of course, the First Lady Don Thompson, the event promises to have everyone dancing in the aisles. Christian wants people to really come away with a positive experience. That, that God is real, um, and, and from that experience, because like she was saying, um, the feeding the homeless, that's one of the key elements that God told us to do is to feed the hungry, um, clothe the naked, um, you know, love one another. And I, I want people to get that message clearly of what we're doing here. And, and this church can be the beacon light for people who need hope. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. So the performances start Saturday evening at 5 p.m. at New Hope Pentecostal Church in Orange Park. Find out more on the respective Facebook pages of the new Don Thompson and Christian L. Williams. So we're going to have more River City Live right after this.